Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I still got it. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and today we're back. Uh, back here playing a new game, <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be playing one of my favorite games of all time. Um, this one definitely tops the charts. It's got to be up there in like my top 10 favorite games of all time. Um, and this is Bastion. I talked about it a little bit when uh, we were playing Alice. I talk about it a little bit like in almost every gameplay we get through. Um, the soundtrack is amazing. Narration is amazing. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and set up some stuff here. Uh, let's let's go ahead and set up the uh, the settings. Music, uh, narration sounds good. We can lower the FX a little bit. Music, we'll lower that just a little bit. But I, I fucking love the music anyway. Uh, brightness is fine. Subtitles, let's put those on, shall we? Vibration off? We don't need vibration. I'm playing on a goddamn laptop or a desktop. Sorry. I just know wheel means it's saving. Uh, okay, and then uh, I guess that looks good. All right, everything looks fine. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the story. And um, I don't have a continue game, which is weird. Uh, let's just go ahead and just start a normal game. Are you sure you wish to start a new game or you're just thinking we'll be lost? Continue. It's fine. Like I said, one of my all time absolute favorite games. I cannot wait to get this thing started. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Okay. As I move, the thing that the guy narrates. He gets up. See, I got Sets up. off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant, in the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. It's all right. I love this. So I'm just kind of bullshitting around, breaking stuff. Kid just rages for a while. Because <laughs> I'm not really progressing with the story. So awesome. Uh, yeah, the narrator is really awesome. And if I'm if in the middle of a sentence and all of a sudden I shut the fuck up to let the narrator talk, it's because uh, what he has to say is actually pretty interesting or relevant to the story or whatever. Um, that, and I really like his voice. He's like my version of like fucking Samuel Jackson. Uh, there's also a lot of hidden things like that around here, so uh, don't mind me if I kind of run around the edges a little bit uh, to try to figure some stuff out, maybe to see if anything... Uh, up here, is like over here? No, nothing. Okay, great. I gotta kind of get used to controls. I'm used An to hitting shit. Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. The repeater's actually pretty cool. Uh, it just it runs out of fucking ammo really fast, as you can tell. Uh, but we can upgrade all of our weapons and stuff later on uh, as we go. That's what I'm actually doing. I'm collecting monies. Um, and the monies will help us to afford upgrades and things like that later on. Um, we have to unlock the upgrades, though, uh, which are fine. Uh, I mean, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> After all, this is only the first episode. I haven't gotten fed up with this game yet, so... Uh, He's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. 
Sometimes you just need a drink. Press F to heal. Nice. Uh, those are really rare to find those fountains. They're not as common as one might think. A school but... of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Shit, I keep wanting to hit fucking uh, shift. Yeah, because that was Alice's dodge. Mm, let's see what we got up here. Oh, look. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. Nice. When did you press F to use a heal? Yeah, when we healed, uh, it uses up one of those bottles, uh, but we can find them either by killing enemies he or... He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Hmm. Um. What's I gonna say? Uh. I, I then fucking... kid finds his trusty shield. Oh, hell yeah. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Clang. Shield saves his hide. <laughs> See, we found uh, we found XP, but uh, we also find healing potions. Shit. Windbags start turning up for last call. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I still got it. Fuck are you, motherfucker! More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Ow, fuck. Can't let them get too close or else they uh, they start swarming you like that. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Shit. Oh mm, god. Huh. I keep pressing space, it's fucking me up. Are playing for keeps. <laughs> what, what also sucks is I can't move and shoot either. Um, so I kind of have to be pretty accurate with this thing. Kid uh, sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. It uses up the uh, the blue potions over here in the corner, but uh, we find them either in barrels or, uh, or not. We can also eat food. Mm -hmm. Brandy always wanted his ashes scattered here. Let's go to the bastion. Yeah, I know. I gotta learn to use space to, to roll instead of jump. Uh, I don't think there's a jump in this game. I'm fairly certain there's not. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. That fall should have killed me, but I'm the kid. It's all right. Now this is my weapon here, the breaker's bow. I can move with it. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. I can I can move with it, which is kid great. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. You see, they give you tips. <laughs> Uh, can I, can I get this E? I'm not thirsty? It's fine. Anything over here? Nope. Alright. Yeah, and before you ask, yes, you can fall off. Uh, this game is not forgiving in that aspect. Oh god. Show me another one over here. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Hell yeah, more monies.
Uh, yeah, it travels farther. I can move with it while, I, while I'm pulling it. It hits fucking strong. It's a goddamn truck is what it is. Uh, I'm going to take it. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. But I'm going to go the other way because I have a feeling that we, uh... We missed a few things. God. Like this over here. Like, what is this? Oh, I think it's a string. Oh, God damn it. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Mm-hmm. I'm not here no more. Looks like I'm the fastest man in the land. Uh, okay, I think that was it for uh, this area here. Let's keep going. Uh, w once you upgrade it, you can pull the string faster. You can move faster, I think, while, while you're drawing the string. Uh, so... It's pretty good, actually. I really like the breaker bow. More so than I like the repeater. Now that black tonic that I picked up, uh, eventually you get specials. Uh, things that uh, you can do, like like powers and whatnot. Uh, I forget how to do the power. I, I know the power I have here is... Oh, there He's we go. A mighty fast learner. Fuck you, bitches! He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Yep. All right. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna get get some distillery. Uh, go to the distillery. We can get uh, certain brews. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. All right. So what this will do is we can unlock uh, spirits, and these are like permanent buffs that come to us. Like for example, uh, we could have squirt cider. It gives us ten maximum health, or plus ten maximum health. Uh, dread rum. It gives us 10% critical chance, but uh, it only it's active only when we're at full health. So if we're not at full health or we take damage, like we're pretty fucked. Fetching Fizz absorbs stray fragments. Um, started as a barroom prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic aftertaste. That's fine. We'll take that. Uh, okay. Confirm. So we can have a total of 10 of them that we can uh, we can equip. And the some of them have bonuses. Some of them don't. Um, it's fine. So we got fetching fizz, which is great, and now we're going to the, the arsenals arsenal. where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. All right, so we can also pick. Uh, okay, not only can we pick the weapons, and this will give us all the weapons we have in our inventory. Um, so I'll, I'll keep Kale's hammer. Uh, I will also keep the breaker bow, and I can switch them if I wanted to. Like if I wanted the hammer to be my right click and the breaker bow to be my left click, I can switch them. Um, whirlwind, uh, this is where you pick your power. Like for example, I have, uh, if I had the fang repeater, I can get this. Uh, the hammer gives me whirlwind, uh, the breaker bow gives me dancing shot. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. It, it, uh, it allows, um, it allows the, the arrow, once it hits a target, to bounce to another target. Um, so yeah, that's definitely what we want. Press Q to use the secret skill. I understand. Or I can just use middle click. Oh, shit balls. <laughs> See? And our rum goes ahead and picks up the, uh, the straight pieces. Some of them squirts, birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, that wasn't very hard. Uh, I, I need to, I need to calm it down. We're only allowed to use our special, quote unquote, like uh, every so often. So I gotta keep trying to find these black tonics. Oh no. Well, I don't know her, so. That one was Maud, the tutor. Oh, shit. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. Hmm. Guess I didn't know her. Let's get out of here. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Fuck. I'm really bad with this. I need to hype it up more. No! <laughs> Shh. 
shit! Kid Something. takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Nice. Oh shit. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Yeah, it is. Fuck. And it's really cool because he he actually like describes to you and tells you like things like that. Like, oh, you ran out of black tonic. It was a shitty timing or whatever. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, oh shit. Get out of here. <gasps> black tonic. And then. Oh shit. Falls to his death. I'm just fooling. <laughs> but there's only so many times that we can do that. Actually, uh, we can't continue to do that forever. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Shit, I missed! Fuck you! Goddamn windbag! Ah! Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Come on, motherfucker! Kid puts him out of his misery. This game is so fucking awesome. All right, let's, let's keep going. He finds the core to the wharf district. Here we he go. Steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Look down he goes. Fuck! Toward the bastion. I've never passed that spot. I think that's probably the farthest I've ever gotten. Oh man, that's so rough. But it doesn't matter. Uh, you're supposed now to fall here to the end. Now something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Yep, he's the one narrating, the stranger. We talk for a spell. Let's talk about the city crest. Uh, ask about the seal representing the city of uh, Kelondia. Uh, weren't these only meant to be for uniform and identification? There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Hmm. Let's talk about the core itself. Ask about the uh, let's talk about the crystal barrette. Uh, ask about what happened to Nancy or Nacy, the girl who used to pin her hair back with this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Talk about the core. Ask about the large bluish mineral found in the wharf district. Uh, it feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Sweet. All right, let's do that then. If you didn't know where the monument was, people, it's where the giant blue fucking arrow is. <laughs> I love the art style of this Just too. Like that. The bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. You know why I think I like this music? Because the music reminds me a lot of like music I would imagine to be in the universe of Firefly. And uh, Firefly is probably my favorite hands down television show. Uh, we have a core. So we're able to unlock uh, something. I think we only have one piece, so we're able to unlock the foundation. Kid what to build. Uh, as we collect each core, we can build in different spots. But we can build either a distillery or an arsenal. Um, I think it's pretty important that we build an arsenal. Um, the Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. 
damn right. All right, so I think this is pretty important because we're going to be finding. Kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. Um, we're going to be finding new weapons here pretty soon, so we're going to be wanting this pretty. We're going to want this up and running. Uh, but yeah, like Mary said, you can't go wrong with the hammer and bow in hand. Uh, if we were to change this to like, let's say, the fang repeater, and we had the fang repeater and the breaker's bow. Really? He's not going to say anything? Usually he has something witty to say. Uh, let's... Oh, cancel. Uh, yeah, let's just pick something. Whatever. Oh, I guess he does. Usually he has something witty to say about each... Uh, each... Uh... I'm sorry. I need, to... <laughs> I need to put this the right way. Alright, and then we're going to take the dancing shot. Fuck yeah. Confirm! All right, so uh, there we go. Uh, we've unlocked uh, the Bastion. You don't know what's out there waiting for him. All right, I don't know. Only one way to find out. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. It literally shoots you to different places. When we complete an area, it comes up like this, uh, all blacked out with a red star saying that we finished it. Uh, that's great. Uh, this is where we're currently at. The Bastion is always available, I think. Well, that's always where we start from. And then as we go, uh, we're able to uh, unlock more and more places. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Uh, it seems more intimidating than what it is. Uh, there's really not that many levels, uh, but it's enough to keep you entertained. Um, so we can go ahead and take the Breakers Challenge, uh, but I really don't like doing these kind of challenges. Anything with a weapon? It's specifically designed to test you for that weapon, and you get prizes. Uh, you can do them as many times as you want to. Uh, you can do them all day if you want to, and sometimes I do, uh, just to try to get the best score. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this one. I mean, we only got five minutes left, and we'll save the next episode to go here. Uh, the Workman Ward. So we'll go ahead to Breakers Barracks, and I'll show you what that's all about. Uh, proving Ground, that's what they're called. Uh, here the Breakers once honed their skills and focused with their bows. So let's go ahead and go there. Oh, we can look the at the Breaker info. Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. Fly. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Mm-hmm. He's focused, he's armed, and he's off. See, I have to pop these realistically. A perfect shot just happens in a flash. With uh, with one hit, really. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this like this. I need to I need to upgrade my my breaker bow by like a shit ton. But see, I'm aiming at the shadows, not the balls themselves. Um, so that's that's how you have to aim in this. So if you ever get it yourself, you're like, man, I can't hit anything. Aim for the shadows. Don't actually aim for the object itself. He it puts on the right solid performance. Oh, cool! I got silver. Uh, shots fired. Second prize. Uh, claim your prize before you go. It'll tell you like what I need. I have to do five shots or fewer. Um, in order to uh, get it, which means I have to pop each of those rows with one hit. So I got something stringy, which is great, and something fancy, which is also great. Uh, and then I can go here to the Skyway, or if I really wanted to try again, I can come down here and hit that button, and it'll just go ahead and restart it. And I would still can, I would still have the progress that I would have. So if I restart it, these two prizes would still be unlocked, and I'm literally just trying to go for this one. Um, so there we go. I think that's it. All right, so thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, watching Bastion. Uh, I hope this is somewhat interesting. I hope you like the narrator. I really like the narrator. I think this is pretty cool. And uh, right now, we're just starting to scratch the surface of the story. It actually gets really deep. Um, like, it's a little sad and heart-wrenching to, you know, find the beret of the girl and you find out that she's gone. That's the link that we know her. But, I mean, like, it gets fucking deep. Like, you're sitting here like, wow, contemplate life. Um... Which is surprising for this kind of game. Uh, I like the visuals. Uh, leave a comment down below if you really like it. Uh, or if you like the visuals or something you like about the video which you don't like about it. Uh, and yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, everybody. I dig my hole, you build a wall.